Greetings, greetings, family and friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is about protecting your assets. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. And leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response is highly appreciated. An asset is defined as property owned by a person or company regarded as having value and available to meet debts, commitments, or legacies as a result of legal liability assets can be levied upon by creditors protecting assets it's not about hiding assets it's about utilizing options to legally protect those assets from creditors being aware of your potential liability can assist in the process of protecting those assets. I have arranged 12 strategies to protect your assets from going before a probate or from creditors that may try and take your possessions. Number one, choose the right business entity. Select an LLC, which is a limited liability company. Number two, maintain your corporate veil. Maintain a separate bank account and checkbook for your business. Use the company's name on all of your documents. Number three, Use proper contracts and procedures. Never act negligent or fraudulent. Have good lease agreements for your rentals. Placing property and equipment and titles in the company's name. Number four, purchase appropriate business insurance. Make sure you have the right insurance for the types of assets and entities that you have. Number five, obtain umbrella insurance. This functions as an umbrella over other insurances that you may carry on your assets or entities. Number six, place certain assets in your spouse's name. Generally, the creditors of one spouse can't reach the separate assets of the other spouse. Keep this in mind. Number seven, consider the homestead exemption. This exemption is a legal regime to protect the value of homes 
of residence and property taxes, creditors and circumstances that arise from the death of the homeowner's spouse. Number eight, look into the tenancy by entirety. This is a way to hold the title of property by husband and wife. Number nine, personal assets are for trust. Business assets are for entities. Number 10, if you can't explain it, it will never work in the court of law. Make sure your entities and assets can be well explained how you obtain them and how you maintain them. Number 11, land trust. This is a special trust arrangement through which a trustee, a specialized company, holds legal title to the real estate while all of the rights of ownership, possessions, and management are retained by the beneficiary, which is you. Number 12, a living trust. This is a written legal document through which your assets are placed into a trust for your benefit during the lifetime and that transferred to a designated beneficiary at your death by your chosen representative called a successor's truster. I'm going to do a recap. Choose an LLC. Number two, maintain company veil. Number three, use proper contracts and procedures. Number four, purchase appropriate business insurance. Number five, obtain the umbrella insurance. Number six, place certain assets in your spouse's name. Number seven, the homestead exemption. Number eight, the tenancy by entirety. Number nine, personal assets are for trusts. Business assets are for business entities. Number 10, make sure you can explain your assets. Number 11, land trust. Number 12, living trust. Trust is a legal arrangement where certain persons called trusters hold property for the benefits of others beneficiaries. A new trustee act 
has been proposed, which will provide more clarity to trustees and beneficiaries of their rights and obligations. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. Leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response is highly appreciated. I'm manifesting. This is my vision. May God bless you.